Hello, I'm in Cardiff today. I've come to meet another YouTuber. I've just traveled in by train and I've come out of the back of Central Station, just by there. I'm heading into town right now to meet up with the guys, but they're having a nightmare parking apparently. She's messaged me. We have a lunch date in a restaurant called The Botanist, so I'm heading there now. It's a beautiful day. I've got an umbrella in my bag, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it. Weather forecast said it was gonna rain. Weather forecast was wrong. Well, so far anyway. It's a little bit breezy though. I see Cardiff Centre's got its hanging baskets out for the summer. Looking lovely, it's like a hanging basket tree. There are quite a few of them dotted around the place. Oh, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Look, lovely outside seating area. What with Covid and all, we've got a lot more outdoor seating, of course, for the restaurants. All Pie Minister. I think that was one of the places that Dara and her husband, who I'm meeting today, is a clue. <laughs> um, they were contemplating coming here, I do believe. Oh look, Timadeira. Portuguese restaurant. I'll have to come here one day, because you know I'm obsessed with Portugal. Now, the person I'm meeting today is really into the UK, and she's not from the UK. She's from America. One day I was, you know, doing some searching on YouTube and I thought, I wonder why Anglophiles, which is what she is, are interested in the UK because obviously it's got lots of good stuff about it that I completely take for granted and is completely invisible to me. So I literally searched Anglophile and up she came. And you're gonna meet her really soon. It's the perfect day actually because it's warm, but there's a sort of mild breeze so it just keeps you just the right temperature well me anyway i'm just coming past hayes island i'm going a little bit of a long and convoluted way actually dara sent me a link to the botanist on a map last night and it's just near st john's down that road there hey st john's gardens are open finally they've been closed for ages now while i'm here one of my subscribers sent me an image of a tree that came down apparently this is what happened a tree came down so if you might notice it's not quite as shady as it was because there's a tree missing so thank you for that my route just got even longer and more convoluted but i have a feeling she's still trying to park so this is okay There's St. John's. I found the botanist. There it was. I must have walked past it so many times. They're nearly here. Due in two minutes. And I'm just sitting here by the church and by all these bikes. And I'm just starting to get wet because the rain has just started. I'm hoping it's just, it stays light for the next two minutes and then we can go inside <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, I've never met this couple before. So it's kind of exciting. I've seen their videos. So I feel like I know them. Funny phenomenon, innit? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> How's it? Wee little boy. Can you tell it's me? Because I'm wearing magenta and an otter mask. Oh, look! Close up of the otter mask. That is so cute. Hi! I think you can guess where we've ended up. The Pie Minister! And here are my companions. We've got Ian and Dara from Texas. So this is what we're having, a wild shroom pie. And you've got a... It's a Kevin pie. It's also veggie. It's mushrooms and tomatoes and quinoa and onions. And some... Uh... Hogami chips with sweet chili glaze. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness, here, oh my. We've eaten, I didn't film very much in there because they had very loud copyright music on throughout, but it was a very enjoyable experience and the pies were intensely tasty. I didn't even think I was that hungry when I went in, but it was just delicious and the mash and the gravy, mwah, perfect. I'm gonna have to take my boyfriend in there because he does like a good pie. So Dara and Ian and I are just having a wander around. There is talk of ice cream. It's happening. You dropped your mask just uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you. Oh no. Thank you. Mask escape. 
It's okay. Yeah, Relax. Don't want to lose that. <laughs> no, no, that's essential. Gelato is happening for sure. Yeah. And you know what I liked about the pies is that even though we both had vegetarian pies, they were very savory. We're just standing looking at the weather spoons here. I was just explaining it. it used to be a theater once. It's amazing in there. I don't know if you've ever been. It's really quite spectacular. We're doing some cleaning up there. We've just realized that if we want to get to the castle and get in, we need to get in by three o'clock. So we're kind of skedaddling down there quickly now because it's about quarter two and we don't want to miss it. Of course, there's loads of buses coming now. I was trying to rush across the road. has a thing for the colour magenta and in fact her channel is called Magenta Otter Travels so, so I'm very annoying because whenever I see magenta whenever I see magenta I must stop and photograph or video it we've made it in time yay hey look how windy it is this guy's flags flapping Looks as though they're setting up for a big event over there. It says, live under the stars, Cardiff, presenting a magical festival of music and theater. And there's the keep, look at that flag flapping up there in the wind. So here's my funny story. I live in Cheltenham in this flat that's in a complex with lovely neighbors and they get together every week or so for happy hour and just have drinks in the evening and we sit out in the back garden and talk. So we were having a little get to know you with several of the people who live in the flats and there's one woman who's probably in her 70s, she's retired, and so one of the other residents said to her, I won't say her name, but let's call her for the sake of anonymity, Jane, said, Jane, so, uh, what was your career? What did you do for work before you retired? And she said, and I quote, don't laugh, but I was a piano player in a brothel. And of course, all of us started nervously laughing. But then, like the open-minded, supportive people we all are, we're like, oh. So then we start asking all these follow-on questions of, oh, you know, what kind of songs did you play? And where did you do this? You know, like what part of the country? And, and so she was answering all these questions very seriously. Oh, all over, I used to travel around. What kind of music would you like to play? Oh, all sorts, mostly show tunes. And she was like rattling off names of songs. And then she gets to, what's that song? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts and we're just losing it. Like we're just all laughing hysterically. <laughs> And finally, she tells us the whole thing was a lie and that she was a nurse. <laughs> so the fact that she so quickly came up with this outrageous lie was hilarious. But the funnier part is that she had us going for a good 10 minutes of all of us like trying not to overreact and asking these like serious follow-on questions to her outrageous claim. Oh, classic. Isn't that a silly story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The reason this came up is because I was telling Dara and Ian that the Weatherspoons that used to be a theatre had also got a bit of a shady, dubious past to it as well. We're just going to have a quick look in here. I think that said historical at some point. Oh, historical Wales, there we are. It's a Welsh gift shop. <laughs> tea towels. Find a good one? I nice. actually have this tea towel and it's, I don't know, like 10 years, 12 years old. It's got holes in it, but I'm buying this for a friend. And then one that explains the Welsh love spoon, which we do have a Welsh love spoon that we got when we got married. I think tea towels make really good presents because they're light to pack in your bag and they're useful. And, and they don't break. No, and they don't gather dust on people's mantelpieces. There's a TARDIS. <laughs> Oh wow, that takes me back. Look, one pound notes. Who remembers these? 10 shillings, though that was before my time, but only just. We've got drama going on now. Ian's lost his favorite mask. It's just avocados on it. Avocados, and he went and retraced his steps. But um, yeah, we took quite a roundabout route to reach the castle, so he's got quite a journey. But we're gonna reconvene with him shortly in the gelato place, wherever that is. 
but apparently it's near the Prime Minister, so we should be able to find it. We've stopped to have a look at this building here. We love these faces, look. This is called The Alchemist. It's to be a bar, I think. So I spent a good 25 minutes looking for my favorite Hi. mask here, the one that I cannot live without because it's so comfortable, and was sitting here dejected and just happened to notice that it was in the sleeve of my jacket <laughs> after all that searching. Happy ending. It's ice cream and hopefully coffee o'clock now. Maybe wait a second. ice creams and a coffee and we're heading back towards St John's Church at the moment. We might go and sit in the gardens, let's see. Of course it would start raining. So we found this entrance here. It says the entrance is closed so we think we'll be all right. I don't want to have rain on my ice cream. How is the ice cream? It is delicious. This is toffee butterscotch and underneath it is the best part. It's, I think it's black cherry cheesecake flavor. Mm. I, I, want to, I want to try your black cherry cheesecake. I know. What do you have? I have strawberry cream and dulce de leche. Yeah, really good. Uh, my favorite, I think, is the strawberry cream. Mm -hmm. That sweet. Yeah. I'm loving it. Really good. We're loitering by the Hayes Island snack bar here, having just been unceremoniously booted out of our little um, fire exit um, but we'd finished by then anyway and the sun had come out we're just looking at the Hayes Island snack bar and you know I said it has been here since forever well it has look 1948 it's nearly time for the guys to head off but before they do we're gonna have a quick walk around Cardiff indoor market and then have a look at a couple of the Victorian shopping arcades that we have here oh. Here comes the rain again. I was just uh, announcing to Dara that this is really old, this market, and she spotted it said 1891 on it. Oh man, the rain. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh look at all mask, mask. Must put mask on. British strawberries and two pounds for a pound. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, look at those beautiful like cherries. It. It's really coming down now, isn't it? Look at that rain. Over this side we have the fish stall, look. Oh, they've got bacalhau, the dried salted codfish. I've never really looked closely at this section before. No, it doesn't, does it? A lot of little faces looking up at us. What a beautiful looking bookshop. The naked vegan. Oh, they look nice, those cakes. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, vegan, I assume. They're in pursuit of fruit for snacking on in the car. Dara and Ian are trying their first ever bit of Welsh cake. On foot, mooching. It is hot and fresh and delicious. Yeah. 10 out of 10, recommend. Mm. Oh, the sun is out again. Can't make its mind up today. Yes, it's raining again. But luckily, we have reached Morgan Arcade, so we're just popping in out of the rain again now. Do I need a mask? Probably. done that one <laughs> and now we're going back through Royal Arcade and then they've parked their car uh, a little way beyond there before the modern shopping mall there was the Victorian yeah. Arcade whoa it's gone super windy It's 
time to go. It's been so great meeting you. Bye. Thanks so much for coming and meeting up with us. And thanks so much for lunch. Oh, our pleasure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Right, I'm headed off for my train now. I will definitely link their video at the end of this one from today when it is up, but I've got a feeling mine might be out first. We'll see. But if not, I'll definitely put it on my community post and mention it in a video. But if you've enjoyed this one and you'd like to help support the channel and help it to grow, a like does really help to boost it in the algorithm and help more eyeballs see it. <laughs> so yeah, a like is most appreciated. And if you're new here and you would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button. And I'm gonna link the Magenta Otter Travels channels on this end screen as well, so you can go over and check out Dara and Ian's channel. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs>